Hey guys, as you can see, it's raining out, so already a perfect day for a vaccine. Um, at least it's warm and it's not cold, so I'm about to hit the road and head on over to where I get my vaccine, and we'll see if it's an easy way to find it. I don't know. I've got directions, but we'll see how easy it is. See you in a few. Okay, so this is very confusing. Um, I drove to where it told me to go, and there's no signage, like, everywhere, or anywhere. There's no signage anywhere, sorry. Um, so I basically had to drive around, and I see now where I'm supposed to go. There's a huge tent, um, but you have to literally drive around the entire mall to get there, and there's already a long-ass line. So, I'm gonna be late for work, y'all. Woohoo! But, um, I think it's an okay excuse to be late just to get a vaccine. Um, I did call the Montgomery Health Department to try to figure out if I was even going in the right direction. But, they put me on hold for so long that I was either going to miss my appointment or super be late. So, I just decided to hang up and, uh, try to figure it out myself. And I did. So, there you go. Um, so now I am on my way to the official vaccine site. I am driving a hot mess through this parking lot because there's nobody here. Um, and it's kind of nice to have free reign of a whole parking lot. Um, yeah, this is crazy. And I think for something as important as getting a vaccine, there should definitely be signage and the cop cars don't help. Uh, the cop cars with their blue lights, people don't realize that, hey, attention, yeah, on the highway when there's an accident or something, but like, for something like this, people don't wanna look for cop cars. Like, that's just not a good idea. Um, I think they should have had something else to get, get our attention, balloons or something big sign, COVID vaccine here, um, or arrows to how to get to the line to get your COVID vaccine. That would be nice. So that we're not driving around wasting time thinking we're in the wrong spot. I mean, it's in the total back of the mall, y'all. Like, super. Hold on. Can't really. Like, I'm in the back of the mall. So, still raining, but I don't know, I didn't see all these cones, and if I did see all these cones, my brain didn't say, hey, it's probably over there. My brain was like, oh, hey, there's a lot of construction going on over there, so you should probably stay away from there. Um, the site where I signed up for the COVID vaccine did not explain how to get there. It gave you the address, put it in ways, and ways took you to um, the other end of the mall over by uh, Belks. It said it was over by Belks. <coughs> Excuse me. I literally had to Google where's the vaccine site at the mall in order to find it. And they're like, oh, it moved over to the seer side. And I'm like, well, that would have been nice to know. So I probably should have kind of Googled that ahead of time. But still, I mean, I can't be the only one. And imagine all these old people who don't know how to use their phones um, because it's just not part of their generation and how lost they could be. I mean, I know half the people that are probably parked in way back there um, not able to find this place they're probably parked there thinking oh well should i go in um what do i do so i think this is a pretty bad fail in terms of getting people here if it's so important you should have signs everywhere i don't know i'm just i'm frustrated so ta ta till the shot time all right, so coolest thing ever, my girl Lauren was two cars ahead of me, and she let me cut in front of her. She's so nice. And nobody could get mad because it's raining. What are they going to do, get out of their car? <laughs> Beat me up? <laughs> oh, I love you, Lauren. Thank you. 
So I also made sure to wear my short sleeves so that I had easy access to my arm because last time I got the flu shot, I had a long sleeve shirt. I got punched in the face because they were trying to lift it up and their hand slipped off my sleeve. And yeah, so that was before braces, thank God, because I probably would have had a bracket stuck in my mouth. But uh, yeah, so uh, it's raining, so I'm gonna roll the window up a little bit. Oh my gosh, this is so interesting. Um, I will say I am still excited to get the vaccine. I just think the whole process should be better thought out um, and how to get people to the right spot. Because like I said, there's people sitting all the way at the under end of the mall trying to figure out where it is. And I don't, the site, I, did, I went to the site and the site doesn't even say that they moved to the Sears location. So, oh well. Hello. How are we doing today? First time, second time? Uh, first. First time. Do you have an appointment today? Yes, 8.30. Do you, do you have a, a slip or anything like that? Like an email or anything? No, um, I've been checking my email and I haven't gotten anything. All right, here, let's proceed. Let's move up, up to the white car. Okay, thank you. First name, Bobby? Yes. Bobby. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Right, I gotta get some sheets of paper for you to fill out. I'll All right. right back. That sounds good. All right, so um, Lauren showed me the QR code that she got when she signed up. I did not get one, I did not get an email or anything. So I gave him my ID. He verified who I was. Um, and he's gonna bring me back some paper for me to fill out so that when I get my shot, I can get my little card that says, hey, got the first dose. Woo! So I'm kind of excited. So one thing real quick, I'm just filling out the thing. They did not give me a pen. I have my own pen, so come prepared with a pen, okay? That's my girl, me and Lauren together getting vaccine vaccinated. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Almost there, y'all. Almost there. A few cars left. I, of course, I have my trusty mask on so that I keep everyone safe um, just in case. I don't have any symptoms or anything like that, so I'm not worried that I have it. But it's for their safety and to make them feel good about themselves as well that I trust the system. I made it inside the tent, which is exciting because there's no rain now. Yay! I can leave my window down without worry. Oh. Good, how are you? Thank you, thank you. I got that. Uh, no, I did not get one. Uh, my girl Lauren got one and she showed me, and I was like, wow, I'm trying to my. I didn't do it. Your nails are pretty. Thank you, mean Where girls. Huh? I bought these in Britain. <laughs> Last name is S U S S K I N. Yep, and my appointment was at 8 30. Joe Seskin. Yep. 621 86. Mm -hmm. First COVID vaccine, correct? Yes. Do you have any allergies to any food, drugs, medications, bees, anything like that? Nope. Any vaccines in the past 14 days? Nope. Um, any COVID in the last 30 days? Nope. And I include a 6 day, have any symptoms in COVID? Nope. Any chance you can be pregnant or breastfeed? Absolutely not. Awesome. Put your car in park. Uh, it is not. It is now, though. Okay. Put your car in park. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Your priority return date is on the back. All right. Email to your outlet account in about five, 10 minutes. Awesome. To for that day. That's cool that now I know what email to look at. Alright, and left arm okay? Yeah, it's perfect. I prefer the left arm anyway because my right arm is my strongest. And yeah, just in case they get sore. That one is great. First, those are allergies. <laughs> That's how it goes. All right, put your arm by your side for me, okay? Okay, just no let problem. Let it kind of dangle and just let your arm sit by your, just rinse it. Yep. Right, let it go. There you go. Let it go. Yeah, I don't <laughs> want you to be propped up. No, oh gosh. Alright, hold this right here. Yeah. There you go, thank you. No problem. Uh, my hands together. <laughs> My uniform is not COVID uh, helpful. That's okay. I'm going to squeeze you two or three times. Okay? Yep. All right. One, two, three. 
That is over. Yay! I didn't even feel it, so. That's how it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Banda, it's the worst part. Yep. All right. So All right. Pull forward, pull forward to that back parking lot. Wait about 15 okay. minutes and then you'll be good to go. Okay? All right. Have Thank you so day. much. You too. Yeah, um, that was pretty amazing. I didn't feel a thing. I didn't even feel the needle, nothing. Um, my brain was going a mile a minute because I'm so excited. So she kept telling me to put my arm down, put my arm down, relax the arm, relax the arm, and I couldn't do it. Awesome. Thank you. And, uh, oh gosh, so funny. But I, it finally clicked in my brain. 15 minutes. I'm waiting in this parking lot, make sure I don't have any reactions or anything like that. Um, which is fine with me because I left plenty of time for work. Um, which is why I scheduled my appointment so early anyway. So, yeah. I'm excited I got the first dose. I can take the mask off now because I'm in my car, not around anybody. Um, and in front of me is Miss Lauren. She got hers too. Yay! <laughs> So I did my 15 minutes. I feel fine. I'm headed to work now. Actually, I'm headed to Dunkin' Donuts. I'm gonna get a dozen donuts for me and everyone at the library because we all got vaccinated now and we're gonna have a vaccination party with donuts. <laughs> yeah, um, we all love donuts, so donuts rule. And Dunkin' Donuts is totally getting my money this time, so yay! Um, I'll be back at the end of the day, uh, my work shift, and let you know how I feel. But right now, I don't even feel like I even got a shot at all. My arm is fine. Everything's great. Um, so, yeah, highly recommend right now. The workers there, they were amazing. They were informative. Um, very, very nice. They were great. Um, I didn't have an issue with any of the people at all. Like I said, it is just the lack of signage. Um, and directions on how to get specifically to where you need to go because it's one way you can only get in there one way and there's no signage that says to get your vaccine come this way so that is the only thing I could say that they could do better on other than that I think it was a perfect 10 out of 10 so all right I'm heading on to the real street so I'll see y'all later Hey y'all, so it's the end of the day and the only thing I notice is that my arm is just a tad sore in the injection site, but that is it. Like, if you've ever had a tetanus shot, the tetanus shot is way worse. Like, if you've ever had somebody come up and just like hit you in your arm playfully or whatever and you're like, ah, and you rub it a little bit because it hurts a little bit, that's how it feels. Um, nothing major or drastic or anything like that, so... <sighs> almost eight hours uh, after the shot and actually I think it is eight hours anyways uh, no other symptoms I feel fine my head's clear I can breathe clearly um, so yeah uh, I'd say first round a success in three weeks I get my second dose yay